Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the video, today's video is on a go-to makeup look, which is here, what you see. So simple, so easy, so fast. Um, yeah, this is just one of the one of the looks that I do when I wanna look, you know, presentable, not wear a lot of makeup, or if I'm like in a hurry and I want a little bit of eyeshadow, then this is so this is something I typically go to. I do have other go-to makeup videos which I am going to come out with um, but usually some when I want eyeshadow is a matte brown eyeshadow or with a little shimmer like I showed you today and yeah just use your favorite products and then I mean just take everything with a grain of salt and apply what will work for you and yeah that's pretty much it um, as you can tell by the title, this is name number two because my first one is the soft glam that I already uploaded. But that's more like of a glam look, but it's still soft and is one of my go-tos as well. I do do a little tweaks here and there with that makeup look specifically, but that's one of them. And this is like more, this is more when I'm in a hurry. Um, but I still want eyeshadow on my eyes. You can never go bad with a matte brown eyeshadow all over the crease and lid. And with this one specifically, I added a little bit shimmer. Um, but it's just a little bit, not like intense or anything like that. I just wanted a little bit of pop. But yeah, you guys, I really hope that you like what you see. And if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so getting started, I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes with the concealer I'll be using, which has been the same in the past videos. And I'm just going to blend that in with my finger, ring finger to be specific. This has become like one of my go-to palettes and it's the ColourPop Nude Mood palette is just super cute and has all the neutral colors warm colors that you need um so yeah we're going to use this palette and we're just using two shades and yeah so i'm going to start out with the shade mugged off which is this shade right here it's just a warm brown color and it does have like a little bit of sparkles but they don't really show up on the eye it shows up a little bit but not like a lot so I'm just going to take the Morphe M433 brush with this so I'm gonna start off packing this color all over the lid and like I'm not being precise honestly because I'm putting this in the crease as well and whatever's left I blend on the crease I'm going in with the second round I'm blending in the crease as well and just two with two um, rounds I like it I don't know if you can tell on camera but it has a little bit of sparkle not a lot so let me do the other eye really quick Okay, so depending on my mood, I just leave it like this, but right now I want just a little bit of oomph to the eyeshadow, so I'm just going to take the shade Wink Wink, and I'm just going to take that with my ring finger and just lightly, I don't want a lot of shimmer on my eyes, so I'm just going to put it all over my lid, but very lightly. I'm just pressing, I'm not even... Like so, I don't know if you could tell, it just, it just adds a little oomph to it. I don't want nothing dramatic. And I just go back with the brush and blend the crease. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to add mascara and I'm just using the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. For concealer, I'm using the e.l.f. as always a hydrating one in medium sand. And for foundation, I'm using the e.l.f. Um, Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Cashew. Alright, so I'm currently working outside and I've gotten a tan. So if the foundation doesn't match me, just mind your business. Thank you so much. So I'm just going to take this Juno um, sponge. 
and this one specifically is to give you coverage um, as you can tell I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and some breakouts so you know I need the coverage especially with this foundation because this is not a full coverage foundation but with this sponge honestly it gives me the coverage that I need which is great because you know I gotta cover this imperfections of mine Ooh. <laughs> it looks super light I need to get a darker shade for sure I'm just taking the elf um, sponge that is specifically for the camo concealer so I'm just going to use this to blend I really like how soft this um, sponge is it feels really nice on the skin but I do feel like it picks up a lot of the product like if you're looking for full coverage this um, sponge is not going to work out for you because I've used it on my face as well even though it's intended for the camo concealer and it just it picks up a lot of the product this sponge only works for me on like days like today like I don't want to have a cake on face you know what I mean like I want I'll be outside so I don't need a lot of makeup all right so for bronzer I'm going to use the elf primer infused bronzer in the shade forever kiss and I'm going to use this real techniques brush but to be honest is it is this I don't think this is real techniques brush never mind I don't know, it's called Moda, but it doesn't have like a number or anything. I'm gonna see if I like this brush for bronzer, but that's what I'm using. Mm, no, this is too light. So I'm just going to take the Sephora bronzer, I mean, brush. So I picked up these Elf Bite Size Blush Duo that comes with the highlight and stuff. And this one specifically is called Spiced Apple, and I'm just going to use this. Okay, so the highlight in Spiced Apple looks a little bit dark, but I'm just going to try it, and I'm just going using the M Morphe M501 brush. Actually, it looks okay. And I'm just going to use the blush now. I really love the terracotta color that the blush has. In person it looks so pretty. I'm just going to quickly run the eyeshadow. Just the first one that we used on my lower lash line. Okay, so you already know on my last video I said that my ring light is dying. And yes, it is. So I did my lower lash line and added mascara off camera. And I use this um, e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner in the shade Coffee. It's just a brown eyeliner. And now I'm going to quickly do my lips and hopefully I don't get interrupted by my ring light. I'm taking the ColourPop BFF number 2. My lips are hella dry. I should exfoliate them. I'm going to exfoliate them today. Cause damn girl. And I'm using the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream. I really love this. I have several ones, but the ones that I use more are London, Abu Dhabi, and Dubai. Those three are my favorite, but I do have others. But I'm using today Abu Dhabi. Mm, I don't know if I like this. It's a little too pink. I'm going to switch it. I don't like it. Okay, so I'm just going to use the NYX um, Butter Gloss and Praline. These are one of my favorite glosses as well. Uh, I'm not going to use the liner today. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, this is better. Um, Alright, this is all. I gotta brush out my hair. Alright guys, this is a finished completed look. It was a quick makeup tutorial, super easy, and I really hope that you enjoy this um, makeup tutorial. I am going to come out with more go-to looks tutorials because I do, well, just like two more probably, which are my go-to um, makeup 
depending on the occasion, depending on my mood. So I'm going to be come out with videos. And it's kind of be like a series type of deal, but not really. Um, yeah, so this is it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And yeah, share if you like and leave any requests if you have any. Um, just a side note, I might not be filming more YouTube videos because as you can tell in my last video, my ring light is dying on me and I was kind of having difficulty, technical difficulties with this video as well and I was kind of getting frustrated so I might not make videos until I get a new light bulb because this one is dying on me. So just a side note, just in case you don't see me posting on YouTube then you'll know why. But yeah. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell by the body, video, <laughs> this is typically what I go to, and usually it's